Ontario school. I, I started getting calls and I started working with the, the high school students from the parents who had siblings, uh, younger children in middle school, and they're like, well, aren't you gonna do something in middle school? And I'm like, well, I wasn't gonna do something yet. But then it started being more clear that middle school is actually where the incubator of these kids that need to adjust and adapt into high school are. And I started looking up some articles, and there's, there's one right here that I captured it for you. The transition from middle school to high school is a critical point in a student's academic career. And there are many, many more of these articles. And it went on to talk about some kids. This is when the grades start shifting because they're adapting and they're working so hard that they, they didn't know what to expect. And in one of our teams in leadership with the high school students, actually, and this, this young lady was the president of the student body of the middle school, and she said, I didn't know what to expect. And I was shocked when I got to high school. So there's just a whole lot of that. So there are groups that actually, in other parts of the country, that actually do this whole work around transitioning the kids and, and preparing them. So this is kind of, the, in a nutshell, what we're doing, okay? Like a miniature version. And you're gonna see a little bit more about the different topics that we're gonna touch on. Now, this is one of the, so each month, we're gonna have a monthly thing, okay? And, and there's some handouts that you can grab with you um, so that uh, you'll have all this information. The, the monthly thing, the first one is gonna be about 2014 roadmap. Mapping your year out, right? It's about we're gonna like work on the techniques of setting your goals. What are your goals? Not your goals, parents, or my goals, their goals. Because the only way you're gonna achieve something is when it's something that you generate. Not when somebody tells you, they already get told what to do. And the whole idea is to line up their goals to the expectations of their academic uh, levels, right? the peer, and all of these other things. So setting their goals in different areas of their lives, not just school, because life is not just all about school, is it, guys? No, makes me excited, all right. Setting goals, your priorities, right? What are your priorities? Your game plan, your habits, right? One little tweak of a habit can change the outcome of what happens in your life. So sometimes it's just a little tweak, it's a little two centimeter, centimeters tweak, it's not like a big shift. Okay, so we're going to discuss that. We're going to go into that, and we're going to like watch videos, and we're going to, it's going to be fun. Like, if it's not fun, I'm not doing it, okay? So that's about setting goals. Then we're going to talk about, this is going to be the fun one, preparing for high school, right? It's a big world out there. So it's about, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some of the high school students come and talk to them about how to prepare, right? And we're going to talk about now how do you prepare so you have a system a customized system of your life so you would be ready for high school and it's not a shock to you, okay? So we're gonna spend a month on that. Then we're gonna talk about your image. How do you see yourself? I actually did part of this at Tilt. You know, what you see in yourself and what other people see in you and how that impacts you. Because sometimes we do things based on what we're expected to do. Right? Say things based on what we're expected to say. But how do you see yourself? Because that impacts your thinking and your actions, your behaviors. Positive self-image. What do you see in the mirror? Who are you? No, who are you, right? <laughs> so I'm going to show you a quick video, okay, that I did. This was at Silverado Middle School about just it. How do you see yourself, okay, and what it means, who, who you choose to see.
video about um, somebody who's courageous, somebody who's in a football team who decided to leave when he, up to that point, said he couldn't do it. And it impacted the whole team. Okay. So now, the next one is about attitude, right? If you're going to have one, get a good one. Right? You can be happy or sad. And it's all about the words, the vocabulary, the stuff that we say to ourselves and the stuff that we hear, and the stuff we choose to keep in us, right? You could say it's impossible or you could say it's possible. And it shifts the outcome of what happens based on what you say. Okay? Um, I think there's a, yes. So after this, you're going to see a, a quick video. This is the kind of stuff I do. So you have an idea. This is the kind of stuff I would do working with middle school students. So it's interactive. And it would be more about talking to them, which I'm not doing right now. But um, the next one is about this little girl who decides what she's going to say to herself every day. Her name is Jessica. Well, that gave me a sec. Now, my whole house is great. I can do anything good. I like my school. I like anything. I like my dad. I like my cousins. I like my aunts. I like my cousins.
five of them. And uh, what I recently found out was three out of the five actually worked with Kasama in her um, in her uh, teens and leadership program. And you know, I found that out like a week ago. So I'm in the right place. Kasama is uh, really great. And um, so what it, this uh, program has done for me so far, and what Kasama has done for me so far, is she shows the small changes that you can do in order to make a big impact, literally. So um, an example uh, would be um, my freshman year. That's the year I would want to change, not because you know I was goofing off. I'm a really good student, but you know um, a personal. Uh, example is I've always been a 4.0 student and um, actually my freshman year I had one B and that was one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to change um, that year but not to change the B I wanted to change the way how I transitioned into high school because I was very confused I didn't know what resources I wasn't you know I was depending on other people so I wanted to change the way how I got that and I think that would have made um, a big difference. And I'm also a link crew leader at our high school. And um, Miss Goff is actually, um, she is the leader there. And she sets that program up. And uh, basically, link crew, we mentor upcoming freshmen, so middle schoolers that are eighth graders, going into high school, and then ninth graders, too. And um, we are a group of upperclassmen. And all of us really said, you know, um, that freshman year is something we wanted to change. And um, that we could really learn from that. So I think that it's important to really start early. And if I could have had this um, program, then um, it would have really made a big difference. This program is geared also toward um, business, and um, we, f we figure out like what you really want to do too. So and it, we give it's giving our life purpose. So I'm learning skills already. I've only been in it in two weeks, and. You know, imagine if I had these skills when I was in middle school, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. I, instead of um, going into high school trying to figure out everything and taking two years, three years, I would have already had a head start. And then um, there's also opportunity in, in this program. And, you know, Kasama has connections too, so you can figure out things <laughs> like, <laughs> like um, things that you like and maybe get an internship. And you can do that when you're in middle school and already be ahead of the game. So that's something I wish I would have joined earlier. And um, I just recommend this program, and Kasama um, is a great leader, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And I'm really glad I joined. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm done. Thank I'm you for coming. <laughs> that was so awesome. Thank you. I didn't, you know, sometimes you don't know until they speak, right? So that's what we do a lot. We encourage the kids to actually express themselves. Um, that's the part that I enjoy the most in everything that I do in any age group. It's about them creating that group, not me. I'm just facilitating it. And that's leadership, right? That's being able to express yourself. And you're going to see some quiet ones start coming around, start engaging, because they start to get to know one another. OK, so another parents club thing that I wanted to share with you. Listen earnestly to anything your children want to tell you, no matter what. If you don't listen eagerly to the little stuff, when they're little, they won't tell you the big stuff when they're big. Because to them, all of it has been big stuff. And that has been how I, you know, tell me, tell me, just tell me what you want to tell me. But I've become that kind of a parent. I actually wrote an article actually this week in the, in the Eagle, and feel free to grab a copy, about harmony and parenting. Now I'm like all into the parenting, because I think it makes a difference when your children feel like they can say anything to you, because they're more likely to say more. And then, of course, you facilitate around that, but you know it's harder when they're not telling you anything, right? So part of what we do in the class is to encourage them to do that be able to communicate, to say more, so that you can help them more as parents. Okay, so how are the classes structured? It's a weekly class, practical, hands-on, engaging environment. There's a whole bunch of hands-on stuff that we're going to be doing. It's not, um, it's not them just sitting there taking notes, okay? Uh, learning videos and discussions, writing out their thoughts, expressing it, sharing it, if they, when they're ready. Everybody's going to be at their own pace, so it's not about everybody has to share, okay? Curriculum is designed to be 
be in alignment with the school district's 21st century four C's, which are known as critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and creativity. It's all about that. Okay? That's how we, that's how we, uh, the body of the class works. Now, upcoming events that pertain to the middle school students, and I talked to Ms. Goff a little bit about this, community leadership event is something that has been in my vision since last year. Um, where, you know, I'm seeking corporate sponsorships right now. I just spoke with the Lions, and they're going to be part of it. They want to be part of that event. Spoke with the Kiwanis. They have some local business leaders that have already become corporate sponsors. So it's going to be held in the gym, and it's going to be the middle school students and the high school students together in the morning. The underlying theme is leadership, right, and growth. And then in the afternoon, it's going to be all high school students, okay? And hopefully I'll be able to get sponsorship for food and all that stuff. But it'll, fun, it'll be a fun thing. We'll have some skits from the high school students and all kinds of creative stuff that we're going to be doing. Um, summer leadership camps. This is actually just already went into the activities guide plan. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a two-hour um, at the beginning of each. It's, it's one week, right? And there's a theme around it uh, for, that, for that week that I'm going to be doing. Uh, and it's offered through the, the city. But I'm going to be just doing the leadership part, and then they're going to be doing all kind of ex explorative stuff um, after that. So it's going to be workshop with leadership, visioning, communication, team building activities. So we're going to be doing some fun stuff around team building, okay? Have fun and grow. So to enroll your teens uh, to this program, the middle school program, okay? Uh, enrollment is going to be online at Young Leadership Academy starting February the 5th. The goal is to have this class, the class is one hour each, okay? And there's no class on the fifth week of that month. So it's four, four Thursdays a month, $35 a month. Class begins February 21st. The first cycle is February 21st through March 21st. So it's three weeks in March, and then we have a break, and then we kick back on again in April, okay? 2.45 to 3.45, so it's right after school ends. So they just go to this one classroom. Okay. Here's the life changing chapter for our children. And this is a quote that has stuck with me, and I shared it the last time, and I just felt compelled to share it again. You may succeed. Nobody else believes in you, but you will never succeed if you don't believe in yourself. It starts with you. It starts from within. So with that, I want to thank you for being here. You have been so supportive, more than you know. Um, and thank you guys for being here. Um, and I'm looking forward to this, this involvement and, and to really prepare them from their chapter of middle school into high school so that I would love to see success stories coming out of these kids who actually could really impact the majority of the kids at school uh, and, and help them and influence them in, in what they know and their level of awareness. So thank you for being here.